family hey why is this thing not straight hey if my camera angle is bad i apologize it's totally bad i, I, I apologize that intro is so bad but yeah we analyzing the lyrics for joe by ren so by now if ren doesn't make you cry man i don't know what's your story but yeah he's he's got this ability to tell the story and then he's so versatile he experiments with different genres i feel like he's incredible as an artist he's untouchable as a rapper and he's also unmatched as a poet and he got the vocals so he can actually sing so like all those elements in one man it's too much power for one man but yeah let's check joe Oh, let's check for Joe. Is it for Joey or Joe? I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but then Joe, Joey, Yoey. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> the song starts with the lines that say, It's hard to take off from the ground when your wings are cut. Your stomach bends when you're drinking from an empty cup. So right off the bat, we are introduced to a theme of struggle and emptiness. So with these lines, you get this idea that he feels trapped and he feels like the devoid because his wings are cut, his stomach is empty. Like that's the idea that we get, like that's the picture we get. And then it moves on to the second line that says, you know the entire ocean came from my tear duct. I see the world through Fibonacci sequ sequences and double touch. This line suggests like the deep uh, emotional and sensitive part of him. The Fibonacci sequences and double touch suggest that he sees things that other people might not be seeing. And it's not to say that he's seeing things that other people might not see because he's that celestial being or something like that but it re it refers mostly to like what's happening in his mind like he has a lot of stories things going on that mainly are not good news or are not good for him he has like a bad like bad stories bad memories even maybe trauma now we just such as thing what's going on in his mind but then there's a lot that's going on in his mind like there's there's hell going in his mind but when people just see him they just think he's just normal or he's just having a good day just like the rest of us and this happens every time you get this you ever be in a situation whereby you are feeling at your lowest and there's something that makes you feel bad but nobody notices that you're not okay i hope like uh, uh, if you do relate to this please do comment below go to the line that says i guess there's some that's born likey and the some that's not i tried to cut away my bitterness hatchet job i looked my troubles in a trunk inside a pickup truck then dumped the whole thing over the same bridge the one you jumped so if you haven't checked the song by ren that's titled suicide please do check it out like phew. Just check it. So even here, we're getting the image of um, he's just reflecting on this disparity and then he's feeling bitter in a way. And at the same time, he's feeling like hopeless. And he, those thoughts lead him to thinking about his friend who committed suicide. And then at this point in the lyrics, we're not really sure if he's considering that as an option or he's just dumbfounded like, what's this life supposed to mean am i supposed to lose the people that love me and am i supposed to struggle like this i'm looking for hope in literally every corner but then i'm not finding it i'm not seeing anything that's giving me hope or this just showing me the purpose to live at this point this verse when he transition he just delves deeper in the emotion of longing and grief so the line that follows says I think about it sometimes vividly what it felt like to look down and see tranquility one sudden movement in a world of possibility only one movement to expose our fragility before we even explain the lines like the, you see the rhyme scheme the rhyme scheme is crazy and this message within the rhyme scheme like that's poetry right there that's 
if this doesn't define poetry, then I don't know what else does. But in these lines, that's where he captures the fragility of life. As he continues to say, I miss, I, I fucking miss you and I miss myself. I miss thinking that we are indestructible as hell. I miss chilling by the Pyre Cave and kicking back with the Kalam, Hugo, Saga, Justin, Stevie, and the fucking lads. Yo, I feel bad for saying the, the curse words. But yeah, yeah, Ren gives us this image that, hey, I once had a team. I, I was once part of a wolf pack. I had soldiers that ride for me now i'm he's reminiscing that like he felt invincible with his friends he had the life that he wishes that he could have right now of which he doesn't now now the friends they no longer there and even though we don't get okay we still we, on the previous lines we got that one committed suicide but then with the with the other team or with the gang we don't know what happened to the others and as he find himself in this situation of bitterness, grief and loneliness. So in the following lines, he further confesses that I miss missing that I numbed myself to the close gap. I never even call them up. The distance is my plaster cast. The truth is that they, the day you jumped, my childhood jumped too. But I still can't find the anger. All I find is missing you. We get the feeling that he realized that the the loss of his friend shattered his childhood but then not only his childhood but then the perception of his view of the world it's just different since then he hasn't been himself ever since that right now as we said before that he on the on the lines prior to this he said that he's no longer in touch with the other lads or with the other homies or with the gang now we get the reason so i get that he after the tragedy of losing his friend he just shattered everybody off of his world he became alienated he alienated himself from the team he isolated himself and then he been he has been living in the box since then he has cut connections with other people now this is how you react maybe uh, towards such a, a situation a lot of people do not feel like they should just converse with other people after losing somebody close to them especially if that person was maybe somebody who you feel like they the only person who really understood you so it's going to be hard for you to converse with other people so you're just going to shut them down without being enemies for real you just like don't feel the need to communicate with them you don't even have the strength so you feel like at that moment you are better alone now the only downside there is that when you are alone those thoughts eat you like they eat you alive you just keep on thinking and now when you think in such a tone you don't find the solutions so this becomes way worse for your brain than what you hope the result could be and we go to the part where he's he sings ben yo i don't know what happens there but when he sings ben 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 Bye. Bye. i'm getting two feelings from that bridge I'm getting the feeling of him just letting things go, like, let it be, let it burn, let it burn. But I'm also getting the feeling that he's uh, kind of like restoring hope, like, let it burn, let it burn. It's in the past now. Let's see what the future holds. So it's those two um, symbolizations, and I don't know which one wins maybe this depends on you as a listener on how you take it because i just take it the the two ways and i cannot say which one is accurate but then you're gonna let me know in the comments below on what you think the part that says ben 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 say like i know um you i cannot sing so i'm just gonna talk it out like ben 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 he says like six times then we go to the part where he reminisces on the nature of life and how like events unfold so the line says 
another domino it falls across the way another's born how are you supposed to raise a child and give it the courage from a storm in a world that is confusing Contra contradictions pave our flaws now this line just is it's, it's just self-explanatory because he's exploring like the complexities of the world but he's contradicting it with especially like i feel like with the parent side that okay you brought life you brought a life into this world and you expect to guide another human into living their life while at least you don't get your own life you don't understand like the world fully no matter how like you get these challenges you haven't had them solved but then you feel like you can guide somebody else and it could be like from the parents view side it could it could be from the therapist view side like how are you able to guide somebody perfectly while at least you not living a perfect life and nobody is living a perfect life but that's where like you get the balances and imbalances somebody who's living an imperfect life can give you advice which could make your life maybe 10 times better and vice versa so that's what he's exploring here he concludes the preach with these lines that say some will say we are only human others judge us for our flaws some get bored in the sheets of satan some get by in tattered clothes some will die before they leave that's how just that's just how the story goes but for those of us still with us what am i reading but for those of us still with us who reside inside our hearts tell them proudly how you feel and those of us who aren't so this part highlights the disparities and inequalities in life acknowledging that not everyone is afforded in the same opportunities or with the same opportunities and he i used to appreciate those who are still with us and to express our love and emotions openly because most of the times you want to find like situations and it always happens whereby somebody maybe loves the other person but when they leaving they don't show it they don't tell them they don't reassure them and it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship it, even like in family then you're gonna find maybe somebody on their deathbed then that's where they're gonna tell you i really loved you i really respected you or maybe somebody's gonna wait for somebody to actually lose their life and then that's where they're gonna talk about like how they love them and all that so ren encourages us to express those emotions while at least we are still alive or while at least our loved ones are still around us so this last verse is accompanied by this poignant melody and remember that throughout the song ren is the one who's playing the piano don't forget that just how genius is that i know it seems like i'm exaggerating his abilities but then i'm just giving him his flowers can play the instruments he can switch genres he can deliver consistent lines and then they make sense they have rhyme schemes they tick almost every box so this is the type of song that if you don't like you just don't like it because and maybe it doesn't match your taste it's not because it's a bad song so on this part ren directs uh this lines specifically to his friend because on the previous lines it was like what he's thinking most of the time like it was him reminiscing and then observing the situation but here on this part we get now that he addresses his friend directly and this is what he says freckled angels stand strong freckled angels live long freckled angel climb higher freckled angels still inspire freckled angels won't forget you teach me to live my life better 13 years and still i miss you now my wings are missing feathers otherwise i'd come and join you but for now i'm here on earth stuck inside this mortal body but for everything it's worth made me stronger made me wiser made me braver made me true made me the face made me face the world with courage and that's all because of you now we get the sense that and this part he is like having the 
the courage to live on to stay on to power on so that's why i said like on the preach that says ben 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 i would say like the three bands are for like him losing like that faith like yo let it burn but then the the three bands that follow are the ones of like okay let it burn in the past but then i'm still gonna soldier on regardless jewels laugh the hardest and their hearts they are the largest and that's gonna do it i hope you enjoy the lyric analysis and i hope you enjoy the video in general and this weird angle of mine i'm not like lately i'm using this angle because yo it's a long story but yeah please subscribe to the channel i hope you enjoyed the video and if i got lines misconstrued or i had like certain misconceptions just please correct them on the comment because we all are here to learn and yeah i appreciate the support i appreciate the support and subscribe to the channel tell me what you think about the song my introductions and outros are just terrible so peace